don't think I need that in my mind, is it correct? Like, I'm quite a very strong boy, I don't want to get that by the end of this, so we'll stay away from the mic. So, I'm here to talk to you about Edinburgh Carpentries. I will not take the big part of that to talk to you about what Carpentries are, because I'm pretty sure you're all very, very familiar with that. So, there are different types of software that are library carpentry. They are normally two days workshop, different curriculum, mostly in the data carpentry. So what I'm going to focus today is still giving you some data on what happened in Edinburgh in the last six months. Because like the data I'm giving you are from September 2018 till last Friday when we finished our last software carpentry. So we had more than 200 attendees across 12 workshop organized Luckily enough, there are six other carpentry and six software carpentry, so very easy to remember. And we have more normal curriculum, so like two days full, uh, full workshop, hands-on, and we have some innova innovative way of doing. So like we had a couple of a couple of workshops that were like four afternoons rather than two full days, and we have single program workshop on, um, for example, like the one on open refine to have like smaller training for people. And I'm gonna read because I'm terrible with short time, short, uh, time memory. And we had twice as many, twice as many workshops at any other university in UK. We have an average of 30 people for each event. And a good, per like the main part of people attending were students, but we had a good percentage also of staff and alumni. And of course, is not a surprise. The biggest represented school that attended is the School of Biological Science. But I'm very proud, being an archaeologist, that like we had 16% of people that attended that were from from uh, humanities class, and four of them were archaeologists. <laughs> so like I think that's the way we can go. Like there is much bigger pool of people we can bring to this training. 